G'day, how you all going? So right now, myself and Ash, who you would have seen in my previous video, up in the snowy mountains, we're down on the Barry Way. So we're gonna head down towards the Killips Bridge area and follow the snowy river down towards Buchan. Right now we're standing at 894 meters above sea level at the Wallace Craigie Lookout. And it's probably about 25, 26 degrees right now. But this is an awesome spot. If you're ever up this way, make sure you do stop here and check out this lookout. And we're looking forward to uh, what's lying ahead. Correct, mate. Yeah, it's good. Not, Not bad. a bad spot, mate. <laughs> Clean water. That's all you want. So we're just here at Jack's Lookout. Unless you've got some sort of fancy fancy pants camera you're not going to get a good view you've really just got to come here and uh, check it out there's just a series of rapids flowing in between the rock there surrounded by big mountains so uh, we're continuing on we haven't found a campsite yet not a lot to film on the way down we're just following down the dirt road so we haven't really jumped out and filmed too much other than checking out these uh, points of interest to share with you all on the Barry Way and uh, yeah, might be time to find a campsite pretty soon. It's 4.30 now, but uh, we're not in a hurry. It's daylight savings. The gauge in the uh, FJ there before said it was 31 degrees. And you know, when you get out of the car, it actually felt like that. So um, cracking spot here. Awesome, been a long time since I've been here. And yeah, great to come back and show Ash these spots. What do you reckon of this spot on the snowy? Yeah, good spot, mate. Can't get much closer. So we've crossed over into Victoria. We're now in the Alpine National Park. Um, found this nice little flat spot in, what was the name of the campsite? Don't know. Wills, maybe? Willis. Willis, Willis. something. Anyway, we found this cool little spot. Saturday night, still about 30 degrees. We set up the swags and then we'll get dinner underway. But uh, yeah, awesome trip so far with the two trips. So the previous trip tying into this one a little bit, but the Barry Way. There's going to be a bit of roadworks going on from the New South Wales side right up to the top where the dirt is. Um, we'll talk about a month's worth of work, so be prepared for that if you're looking at doing that trip. And you've watched this video so to give you an idea it's the 18th of november 2023 right now but yeah pretty cruisy trip up through there um not too difficult just a few big holes everywhere so we're just slowing down for those but yeah definitely awesome through there <laughs> Don't be fooled by those sun, that sun in my eyes. Up behind us there's some big black clouds. For the last hour or so, we've just been watching them uh, drift across the top of the campsite here. But it's still really mild night. So we might get a bit of rain later on tonight. But uh, that's all good. We're just kicking back now. Just doing some chicken sensor wraps. So nice and easy one tonight. Covered a fair bit of ground today. Not that it was a big case, it was just a big drive. So, uh, sitting here now, just kicking back, relaxing. Can't get much better than this. 
All right, dinner's all done. Um, we're thinking undersure whether we're going to get some rain tonight or not, so we'll check back in tomorrow and let you know whether we uh, got a heap of rain or got no rain. The wind's fairly consistent. Dinner's done. See you all tomorrow. Good morning, so it's uh, Sunday morning and we're still camped on the Snowy River and it didn't rain last night, the clouds cleared off and there was so many stars, it was super clear last night, it's quarter past six, I had to pop the billy on, have a coffee, slowly start packing up and uh, see where we head this morning. It's so still here this morning though, it's unbelievable, it's so good, Just soaking it all in. Alright, so we've just stopped at the Sug and Buggin schoolhouse, which is built in around 1860. So it's just off the side of the road here. It's been a long time since I've visited this as well. It's great to see these things still standing. down into McKillop's Bridge, crossing the Snow River. The road down, take your time, to have your radio scanning just so you can hear for other traffic, but here we are, standing on McKillop's Bridge. Absolutely awesome. Got the Snowy River rushing along behind us there. So we'll head across the other side. We're just gonna go in and out, back out the other way, the way we came in, but um, absolutely sensational down here. So just a quick bit of information, there's a sign here. So 11 days before the uh, bridge was officially opened, the first bridge had got swept away and they built it three metres higher than any other flood they'd known had come through the area. So then they had to rebuild it. So yeah, just a quick little tip there. I won't bore you too much with all the other history stuff, but yeah, how'd you feel after doing that? Pretty devastating, I'd reckon, but they obviously knuckled in and got it done again. It's always good when you're uh, popping in down to check out the river and the locals are here to meet you.
All right, so we stopped for a coffee. We just stopped at a day area before, and now we've just pulled into Little River Gorge. Um, this is Victoria's deepest gorge at 400 meters from where we are, approximately down to the bottom. Another breathtaking spot you've got to check out if you're in this area. It's a steady desk downhill walk, but uh, yeah, head back up. We didn't film a lot of the road either, just from McKillop's Bridge up. We'll just paying attention to oncoming traffic etc with Ash being a bit of a spotter as well in the distance we had a few adventure bikes coming so that's why we didn't film much of the driving because we're just keeping an eye on what's going on but this gorge here is definitely uh, added to your list if you haven't been here before or if you have been here let us know in the comments what you think All right, this is a little river. So this is what flows down through the gorge down there. So they, they were saying that the river is, the gorge is four kilometers long. So this head down here to my right and down through the gorge past that lookout we were just at earlier. Pretty cool and we just saw a massive goanna as well. So that was also cool. Righto, so right now we're sitting down behind the Dargo Hotel. We've come off the Barry Way, McKillop's Bridge and all the last spots where we left you. We headed down through Buchan to Bansdale. We made our way up here for the last night. So we just shot up here, have a nice candy meal at the pub tonight. Ash heads back to WA in less than 48 hours. So we'll get him back down there to the airport and then uh, makes his way back. But uh, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Good trip, mate. No worries, mate. See you in the next one. Thanks for having me. All right. Cheers, guys. See you soon.